Wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to the... I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey. Hey, hey. Artun, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, You'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. It's on, covering you! Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. You can take 
won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Are you on the enemy is on you. Is crawling with guns. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Oh, God. 
guards! Get them! Gentlemen, 
Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my this call, and you know Misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh? If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said anything! Yeah! yeah. This is our last warning! Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, we have stopped uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Ah, finally some good sense. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch the paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he started the call, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic is that you, Yakov? Yeah, you can't cut this shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to my trial. You don't understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you cut it, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason! We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! We're getting closer, you're the main under it! We're getting closer, you're the main under it!
I took the stopper. I got with him. They made me turn around. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the wrong faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and popped all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. 
They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their scene, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like our team always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here! A world where we could live! So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are normal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artem. That's got to be a scene. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died. But the bombs killed tens of millions. Yet we are alive. We stayed alive throughout those years. Archon almost got killed. Is he just collateral damage too? Guess what? Yes. If you have to choose between the life of a single man. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Area 18-5. Where was that by number supposed to Shall we overcome any Got and it. all obstacles? So, it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So, the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So, I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Just a moment. I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Uros, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How about on! Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad, I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, oh, that that's air, some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? 